the first part of this question was meant to be very easy. We're just going to apply the power rule after we turn the third root of x squared into a fractional exponent. So we would have 2 over 3 x to the 2 thirds minus 1 in the form of 3 thirds. Well, that would give us 2 over 3 x to the 1 third negative. And you could leave the answer just like this. This is not a wrong answer. It would also be okay to turn it into 2 in the numerator, 3 over the third root of x. And I gave full credit for either of these. Okay? Now, are there any values for which f of x is not differentiable? Well, the definition of differentiability means f prime must exist or be defined. And we know that this derivative would not be defined if I had a number over 0. That's undefined. So that was the second question. x equals 0 was the answer. And the reason is not because there's a vertical asymptote, because this isn't a function. This is a derivative. But we would just say, um, explain how I know f prime of 0 is undefined because we can't divide by 0. If f of x is not differentiable at any x values, what feature causes this using calculus in your explanation? So we know f prime of 0 is undefined. And so therefore we know we are not differentiable. Well, there's only two possibilities for that, unless we had a piecewise function. And even for that, we could have a vertical tangent where my f prime of x is undefined because I have a vertical tangent. Or I could have a cusp, which is another possibility. And so you can really see here, this is a vertical slope. And this is a essentially a very steep slope coming in from the left and a very steep slope coming in from the right that are not equal. Whereas this other case, right before we went vertical, our slope is essentially positive, and here our slope is essentially extremely positive. So we're going to look at the slopes from each side. We're going to say f prime of 0 on the minus side, what is that equal? Well, when I plug it in, we have 2 over 3 the cube root of 0 minus. What that becomes is 2 over 3, and then it's negative because it's 0 from the negative side and it's very small. So you can see 2 over 3, negative 3 small would be negative infinity. Now when we do it from the positive side, we're looking at 2 over 3 third root of 0 with a little plus here. Well, now we have 2 over positive small. Well, that's approaching positive infinity. So you can see we have the cusp case because our slopes are negative from the left positive from the right, and so they're not equal. They're very, very um, steep, approaching infinity, but they're from the left, negative infinity, and positive infinity. And so the next part of this problem was very similar. We are, again, not differentiable at x equals 0. The reason is because f prime of 0 is undefined. So 
we're going to take a look now at the derivative of zero from the left side. And you'll notice this time I wrote it as a limit statement. So you can, again, practice that for the AP test, because they love that limit definition of a derivative. So now we're going to have 1 over 3 cube root of 0 minus squared. And you can see this is the, the different part here. When we take that 0 from the minus side and we square it, it turns into a positive. And then when we take its cube root, it's still very small but positive. So we're looking at 1 over 3 times a positive small number. That's infinity. And when we look at it the same way, but we're looking at a 0 plus squared, it also is 1 over positive 3 small, or positive infinity. And so what that means, from a graphical sense, if I were to draw that, is that right before 0, I have very steep positive slope. And right after, I have very steep positive slope. So this is the case where I'm coming in steeply. I hit 0, or undefined slope right at 0. And I stay positive afterwards. Part B is the vertical tangent. And that's how you would know without a calculator using just calculus.